Um, hey y'all, um, what's up? Um, I just wanted to make a really, really brief, uh, video tonight talking about the movie The Woman King. Now, everybody, just about everybody who has seen it said it was good. It was really good. Folk were talking about seeing it again and so forth. So I saw it and I really enjoyed it. It's just a movie, you know. Um, I don't know much about the Dahomey Kingdom, um, the history, the full history. Some people say a lot of parts in it weren't um, correct uh, and they were false and lies and blah, blah, blah. I just saw it as a movie. Um, when Hollywood tend to make movies about based on real people and civilizations and cultures, they always add a little something, something in there to make it more um, exciting, put it that way. So, at the same time, actually before I decided to see the movie, I uh, heard about the boycott. People were boycotting the movie. You know, they were saying um, it glorified uh, slave owning, selling, and raiding um, uh, people and empire. And um, you had these beta males crying about it was feminist because you have these, you you know, the um, the king had a court of women um, in his court that were uh, his warriors. I forgot what they called them, but they were, you know, they were very, uh, very able warriors and astute warriors. And they were fighting men. The men were from the kingdom were fighting also. But this this particular um, uh these particular women who were uh soldiers were uh you know they were especially a student good at at fighting what they did not to say they were better than the men they were just really good so uh you don't have to see the movie um you know what i'm saying nobody uh is gonna put you down if you don't uh, you have a right to boycott it but to me it's not making a whole lot of sense Okay, it is not making hardly any sense at all. Now, I can understand the um, boycotting the movie, movie Harriet. They used a foreigner to portray our um, elder, our American indigenous elder. Harriet was our people. Why would you go outside of us and use somebody to portray her on film? Plus, they didn't really get the story right. It didn't make sense. Um, plus, they made the number one villain a black male who was supposedly a slave catcher. That's, you know, I didn't watch that movie. I didn't watch that movie uh, when I heard about it, okay? And I saw some clips. I, I ref you know, I decided not to spend my money to uh, watch that movie. But I, I didn't feel this way about uh the woman king and that's my right like i said if you feel like you should boycott it then just go ahead but actually it's been doing good at the box office and like i said it's a very good movie so the main thing i wanted to say was why in the world why when our people black americans african americans whatever you calling yourself today why do you get nostalgic, upset, riled up when you hear the word slave? Slave is not your identity. Slave is not your middle name, honey. When you hear the word slave, whoever said it or whatever source it came from, it's not necessarily talking about our people so you can stop allowing yourself to just start thinking about your your grandma and your grandpa okay almost every nation on the face of this planet experienced some form of bondage that's not who we are your slave slave ain't your last name stop identifying with that word oh my god all right um it's just a habit we've allowed ourselves to get into. Because I remember growing up, I ain't never heard of us referring to ourselves as slaves, as slaves, and, uh, you know, paying so much 
attention to the word slave and and jumping up and yanking your head whenever you were that heard that word. I, I don't remember that. I don't remember seeing that. Okay, that's something that we're we're dealing with today. You got to be careful of what you let the the matrix put into your mind. You got to be very careful. Even the history of our bondage period here in uh, North America is not totally correct. They did not bring no millions of people to the United States of America. Or America at that time. It was America. They didn't bring even 500,000. They had changed that. Most of us were already here. Okay. Not all of us have enslaved ancestors in our family. There are a lot of us who have done their genealogy and they cannot find an enslaved slave, enslaved ancestor. They just can't. I know I don't have any enslaved ancestors, Indian or African or whatever on my mom's mom of the uh, side of the family. I did her genealogy on that. I did my genealogy on that side of the family. And my people came up, I mean, all the way back to the late 1700s. We came up as married, landowners, raising our families. We were not slaves, okay? Some so-called black Americans have a lineage and history of owning enslaved people. All right? So just get that out your, your mental Rolodex. All right, stop jumping, responding automatically to the word slave and taking it personal. What you're saying, you're talking about me. Hell no. All right, you are not a slave. And the, and the situation, the institution did not happen the way it was being, it has been taught to us anyway. So, you know, I'm not sitting here arrogant like I know everything I don't. I'm still learning this history. But I, the little bit of, that I've learned, honey, I'm telling you, you don't have the truth. You do not have the truth about who we are in our his, historical reality in this country. So, um, like I said, this video is going to be short. I just wanted to address mainly that part um, about, you know, you taking on this this word, this word called, called slave and making it another identity for yourselves without you really even consciously realizing it another thing i gotta say before i leave i gotta say this and i ain't putting the indigenous community down i am one of the ones who have researched my family history and have come to the point where i have to acknowledge our true genealogy heritage okay and that is knowing that my people are indigenous to this land. All right. So you who, who, who are calling yourselves indigenous and Indian or American Indian, copper colored, American, whatever. I don't know why in the world you would have a problem with this, with this movie. Because you say, you know, we, we know that this, uh, the history of the transatlantic slave trade did not happen like it is so you uh, you need to go sit down because you looking really really silly and ridiculous in these parts okay so you can let the uh pan-africans have it and all these other people the lost tribes and you you can let them have that we just you know um i see us as just seeing that as a movie uh, we weren't a part of the homie the homie empire we didn't come from them, we are admix. We have African admixture here and there, just like we have European, Asiatic. We have that. But we're, our main bloodline, we're Americans. We were here. Um, we, we, we knew our tribes before we uh, lost the knowledge and the culture and the language, okay? So um, I just wanted to put that out. And um, I hope you all have a, a great night. Um, I hope you wake up and have a great day. Peace and good night.